guys, today we are going to be talking about common snakes in Africa. Now there are tons of snakes in Africa, so I'm not going to be getting to them all, but these are some pretty common ones that you'll see everywhere. Now the first one is a royal python. These get about one and a half meter meters long, that is about five foot long, and these are non-venomous. These are really cool. They get, you know, five foot long, so that's pretty, pretty long. Um, they are really beautiful though. I would love to have one myself if they didn't, didn't get so long. The next one is a caliber ground python. These get about four to five foot long and these are non-venomous. They are safe to hold. Um, you know, they won't, if they bite you, the bite will hurt, but it won't poison or toxin you. It won't toxic, toxify yourself. Um, so if you get bit by one of these caliber ground pythons, then you'll be perfectly fine. The next one is a brown house snake. These guys get three foot long and their bite is not venomous, and but it is irritating, like it could irritate your skin. The brown house snake is known for its irritating bite. The egg eater, I think I did a video on this, I'm not sure if it ever got posted. I think I did a video on this one time and they get three to foot, two to three foot long and they eat eggs, which is really cool. And their bite is non-venomous. Um, like I said, it hurts and it's a little irritating, but it is, it won't toxify you or anything. So that's a really cool one. I really always, I've always loved egg, egg, egg eating snakes. If I could find someone to supply the eggs around here, you know, cause they eat like finch eggs, bird, little bitty bird eggs. If I could find some, like quail eggs too. Quail eggs is a, like for a big adult, then they eat quail eggs. But babies, you gotta have little bitty finch eggs. So if I could find a good supplier of eggs and a reasonably priced one, then I would get one. The next one is a boom slang. Now I, I know I did do a video about this one. These guys are venomous. They can get four to five foot long. They have really big eyes, they're so cute. Um, so, they do get really, um, they do get pretty long, four to five foot long, which is pretty long, and they're skinny. Skinny, but really, really long. I'm watching Charles go crazy out here. He's running around biting at something. The next one is a grass snake. These get three to four foot long. Um, these are really beautiful green color. I think I did do a video about this one too, maybe. Um, and these are irritating to your skin, you know, um, but they are non-venomous, but you know, as I said, it's irritating. The next one is a green mamba. These get six foot long and are extremely venomous. Green mambas are, that makes it very, very dangerous kind of to live in Africa, especially in the summertime in the hot areas. That'd be rough because I've have heard of like green mambas, um, brown mambas, green mambas, those two, um, all of them, because there is brown mambas too, mambas too. I'm pretty sure there's brown ones and there's green ones. Brown and green ones are both extremely venomous. You do not want to get bitten by one of these. So they go in houses and under basements. And I found, I or I heard, I, I've never seen one. I've never found one. But I have heard that, I think someone found one in their toilet once. That might have been a python. But I think someone did find, in Africa, did find a snake in their toilet. I, it was either a python or a green mamba, so that's pretty dangerous. Especially if you're not looking where you're going when you sit down. That'd be really bad. <laughs> um, the next one is a red spitting cobra. Now this one is extremely dangerous as well, and not just because it's very venomous, it is also because it spits. It literally spits like, it spits like spit out, that's very venomous. And if it gets in your eye, it's even worse, because I have heard of people that gotten like spit it on by one of these and it landed in their eyes, so that must have been extremely painful. I feel bad for that person. Um, they get around three foot long, and um, as I said, they're just really venomous, and you want to watch out for them um, because they're very dangerous. The next one is a puff adder. I really like these snakes because they're really cool. They're really beautiful. I like how they puff up really cool. 
They get three foot long and are also very venomous. Now, we are going to be talking about vipers next. Um, these next couple of snakes are going to be vipers, and all vipers are venomous. So, I'll just go ahead and say that. But puff adders get around three foot long. The next one is a gaboon viper. Um, now, these get around four foot long and are also venomous because they are a viper. So, they are venomous. The next one is a desert horned viper. Now, these have like little horns. They're really beautiful. If they weren't venomous, then I would definitely get one of them because they're really cool. You can buy them, but you know, you definitely don't want to have a venom unless you're a ex or a pr trained professional. I think that's what they call people trained professionals. Then you definitely shouldn't get any kind of viper or other venomous snake for that matter. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope it's helped you. I hope you enjoyed it. And if y'all have any other video suggestions, y'all make sure to let me know and I will do my best to fulfill them. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all on the next adventure.